the Ogle Wall at the uh, Syracuse studio with the sealed new old space stock. There's that one back there too. Um, and I, sh I show it to assure a, a particular viewer that, you know, dude, I'm not, this stuff is staying sealed. Most of most of the toys I'm I'm obtaining to use in my art, um, and will open those pieces that I, I I I specifically want to use this space vehicle car set. That's that's gonna get opened. I mean, it's it's only secured with a with with a couple of staples that the, the plastic is adhered on. Usually what I try to do is find a second, if not even a third example, before opening something uh, like, say, a, a Golden Astronaut. I haven't opened any of my SpaceX stuff, but I've opened some Golden Astronaut stuff after finding another another example of the sealed unit. Same with the Apollo Boot Exploring stuff. Most of those... Uh, our, our, our second units uh, or second examples that I've come up with if uh, that is I've, I've opened one up um, here, here's one the, this parachute space capsule that's not going to get open that's going to stay sealed uh, and and I, I, I mention it just to allay the, the concern that I'm you know going to ruin all this stuff by opening no no, but then again, I don't, I don't really, I could give a rat's ass when anyone's going to clean up from it after I'm gone. None of it's going to be sold as, as uh, sealed vintage space toys during my life. At least that's not what I'm intending. And I, I pin them up to look at them for ideas including the packaging i want to make my own toys and i want to make my own spacecraft forms and i want to make art that is about this sort of cultural idiom of of, of vintage plastic apollo or nasa era space toys very inexpensive flimsy Things that were sold back in the day for fifty cents, you know, less than a dollar. Now, now they're 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 they're, you know, valued twenty to thirty dollars usually. I don't have anything that rare here either. Uh, the rarest thing is probably this this silly moon traffic set that I, I did a, a, a little special on at one point. And, and maybe maybe those space vehicles as well. But I, I I I obtain them to use them in my art, and uh, I had started off collecting Hot Wheels, and at one point made the conscious decision that unless it's very special, I'm not interested in caring for packaging material for the rest of my life. With 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 things like Hot Wheels, especially, you, you need special. Not that special, but you need storage material that's going to keep them from for the the packages intact or the 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 value on them if if there is any if if that's the point of having them. And when I moved on from from Hot Wheels into into the space stuff, I made a promise to myself that. I'm only opening things that I can find two examples of or more, and I'm keeping it to a minimum. Um, I'm I'm not. I, I'd love to have more Golden Astronaut and SpaceX and the rest of the Apollo Moon Exploring series as as sealed examples. But for instance, I'm not collecting that. That's that's the only bagged spaceman. So I'm not. It, it 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 has to be something special for me to want to get it, and know that I'm not going to be able to open it. Most of the stuff that I've obtained is loose. Um, and it's 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 difficult sometimes to bring myself to open. And 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 I just want to alleviate people's concern that I'm I'm just behaving like some sort of jackass. This is all calculated, 
and if anything it's going to be worth more when it's when it's part of my art and I'm using them in a way that will allow the the owner or the viewer to remove the the, 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 the toy piece if they want and do what they want with it although of course I hope they, they retain it within the artwork but I'm not I'm not just sitting here ripping apart you know uh, new old stock it's 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 pretty calculated and I don't have much of a budget I try to keep it uh, under 50 bucks a week that I'm spending on on stuff and even that's a lot 200 bucks a month on space toys do that times 12 months and you, 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 you you've blown a significant amount of money and I don't just buy anything it has to it has to have a certain aura about it that I'm interested in Mark's pieces for instance but those are, are, are actually better consumed loose finding Mark stuff in its original package you're spending so much money just for the box and and I want the pieces for my art I'm inspired by them as 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 a visual artist I even just looking at them is is giving me ideas Just wanted to show the state of the oval wall. All the stuff is secure for the time being. Even those, even the old cars. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opening them up tomorrow. I've got a, a Apollo Moon Exploring set with the Major Matt Mason crawler in it that I'm going to open a little bit later and make a video of it. But it's because I want that lunar module and those uh, Apollo astronaut figures loose. I want them out of that package. Not that package. I have another one that I'm going to open. Like I said, I make sure that I've got two if it's something that, that, is, that is close to the heart. And I want to open this helicopter, too. Archaic heliocopters are a priority with me. But these are safe. Not, not, these, these probably won't get opened or they're second examples of pieces that have been opened already. Not totally stupid.